is Martin Korobkin. I'm uh, 69 years old. I'm from the United States, and I came here to have uh, hip replacement surgery, and I'm told the method they used was a direct anterior method. I've had hip pain on and off for about three years, but it's grown progressively worse. The, in the last couple of months, it's become very hard to walk and climb stairs. Well, it, it, it affected it because, uh, you know, I like to go out and take a walk in the evening. Uh, I used to like to go out and jog. Jogging became impossible and then simply going for a walk became very painful. My office is on the fourth floor and uh, it was a long, slow, painful walk up the stairs. It began to make me feel older than I am. Well, as I said, I work in uh, Phnom Penh. And shortly after I got there, a brand new hospital, the uh, Royal Phnom Penh Hospital opened. It's an affiliated hospital with, uh, and uh, they were the first to diagnose the problem as uh, the need for a hip replacement. I think they described what I had as a bone on bone arthritis, uh, but they said, uh, you know, it wasn't urgent at that time to do the operation, and I was still walking uh, reasonably comfortably, so we didn't do it then. In January, uh, it became uh, a real problem, and I went back uh, to the orth orthopedist, uh, Royal uh, Phnom Penh, and he recommended that I do it here. From my understanding, is either you do the operation or you don't do the operation. Those are the choices. been to doctors over the last three years and uh, pain medication. I laid most of the pain for a while, but I, I don't want to be addicted to pain medication, and uh, it frankly wasn't working as effectively. I had uh, met someone a, a few weeks in early January, in fact. Uh, he explained to me that he had had uh, two hip replacements using the anterior method and he said that the recovery time was very good and that the operation was very successful and basically he said to me why are you living with the pain when you can solve the problem very easily yes actually uh, the first the doctor at uh, Royal uh, Phnom Penh Hospital uh, said that would be a possibility and then he referred me to Dr. Panachkan. We communicated uh, via email and he sent me material about that type of surgery and said I'd be a candidate for it. So that's how that developed. As I recall, the afternoon of the procedure, uh, two hours after it was over, or three hours after it was over, uh, the doctor came to my room and I stood up on a walker that afternoon and took a few steps. So that was that very day. No, none. There was a little residual pain, but very little, and none connected with the walking. Well, I had read brochures. I should have known what to expect, but it, it wasn't at all what I expected. It's a, it's a very small cut. So far, it hasn't been painful or itchy. I barely know it's there. Uh, there was a drainage wound a, a few inches below it, a, a drainage hole. That was not painful either. Um, so it was, it was really very small and... You know, I can't say really yet. It's early. I, from what I see so far, I think it's going to solve uh, the problems that I had. I mean, I had leg pain almost every night, not just in the hip, but down the leg and I have not had that since the operation. The joint feels comfortable uh, when I walk. I've seen the x-rays, they look really good, uh, give me a lot of confidence. So uh, it's a little too early for me to recommend it, but from what I can see the early signs are excellent.